Hallelujah to the Lord God. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you for this moment of divine encounter. We say thank you for your mighty power. We say thank you for your goodness. We say thank you. Let someone worship the name of the Lord. Another time of prayer. Another time of, of prayer. Another time of prayer. Kabalado shariando sulia baru sharia. I would implore you to reach out so anyone you know um tonight's prayer is gonna be great by the power of god by the assurance of the spirit reach out and tell them to join the meeting has started can you give god the glory and say jesus we say thank you thank you thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus hmm. thank you lord jesus Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Thank you for what you're going to do in the meeting of tonight. Thank you for what you've been doing in the previous meetings. Be thou exalted, O God. Be thou exalted, O God. Let someone appreciate the name of the Lord. This is the Saturday evening divine encounter. And the Lord has kept you throughout the week. The Lord has preserved you. The Lord has been merciful unto you. Can you give him glory? Can you give him honor? Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Jesus, we say thank you. 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 Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we honor you. Thank you for the revelation of your word. Thank you for the inspiration of your word. Thank you, O God, for the, the, the power in your word. The power sufficient to transform lives sufficient to liberate souls jesus we say thank you jesus we say thank you can you commit yourself into god's hand tonight this evening that you will encounter god you will encounter his power you will encounter his might hmm. you will encounter his goodness you will encounter his love you will encounter his glory can you commit yourself to god's hands and say tonight the hand of the lord will visit you the power of god will visit you in the name of jesus the power of god will visit you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Our dear Heavenly Father, we say thank you for what you're going to do tonight. We say thank you for what you've been doing through this series in the lives of people, touching and transforming their lives, touching and liberating them from the chains and from the shackles of hell. We declare this meeting opened in the name of the Father and that of the Son and that of the Holy Ghost. And we decree that by the instrumentality of your word, you will cause lives to be transformed. You will cause situations to change. In the name of Jesus, your people, O oh God, will step into the fulfillment of the promises of God for their lives. You, they will step into the manifestation of the of the heart of God, the desire of God over their lives in the name of Jesus. The eyes of their understanding will be enlightened. They will see, they will know, they will feel in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. For a few weeks now we have been looking at the book of isaiah chapter 45 and i'm sure it's gradually coming to a close isaiah chapter 45 i just read from verse 1 uh, but the verse we are going to today is verse 3 thus said the lord unto his anointed can i implore you to just at your own leisure just 
read this passage and let these words be read out loud over your head over your destiny over your life thus said the lord to his anointed to emmanuel whose right hand i have holding to subdue nations before you to subdue nations before him he says and i will lose the loins of kings I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two lived gates, and the gates shall not be shut. Hmm. Hallelujah. It says, I will go before thee. Last week, the Lord did make us um, study this again and pray on this. If you have not yet listened to it, there is a lot from that prayer meeting. I want you to do yourself a favor. And go and pray I will go before thee you are not going to travel alone you're not going to go alone I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron hallelujah once all of that is dealt with in your life then you can step into the next dimension once you have dealt with the chains you've dealt with the gates you've dealt with the with the with the bars and all of the hindrances have been taken away then in verse 3 and i will give unto you the treasures of darkness hallelujah and the eating riches of secret places that thou mayest know that i the lord which call thee by thy name am the god of israel i will give unto you i will give it unto you i don't know how much hard work you can do but i am telling you now i will give it unto you there is a dimension of wealth that is given there is a dimension of riches that is given this one is not just by your labor you may labor but the the wealth that comes is not commensurate to your labor it says i will give that wealth that riches those treasures are stored up somewhere mine assignment is to make you to find it is to make you to find it and i will give it unto you just before this meeting started i got a confirmation from heaven that is really bent on doing this thing in the lives of people ali prashatya is really bent on giving unto his home who have been faithful and consistent with him god is now very much determined and fixed to give unto them the treasures of darkness and the eating riches of secret places the places where riches are hidden unto you it will no longer be hidden you have now been given the mystery to unlock the riches of secret places you have now been given the password to to get access to where these riches are stored hmm. if you have been consistent with hopes in this prayer and you have wholly followed the lord god with all your heart mind and soul don't be afraid to appropriate the treasures of darkness to your life for it is god himself that gives it to you 
for it is God himself that is channeling these resources unto you. The Bible says the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto you unless you don't understand what that means jesus told the disciples cast your net to the right side and when they are this done they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break it is time to step into net breaking miracles it is time for the riches of the gentiles. I say you will suck the breast of kings. I will give unto you the treasures of darkness. It does not matter who has amassed those treasures. It does not matter who has laid it up and hidden it. Hidden it. Hidden it. And kept it the lord says i am the lord you cannot be holier than god he says i will give unto you the treasures of darkness it's not just finances it can be wisdom it can be it can be minerals it can be different things but if it is a treasure that has been kept hidden that have been kept in dark places then I will give it unto you. This passage literally happened in the life of a pagan king called Cyrus. How much more a child of the kingdom of God. Can we begin to pray? this evening and say God I have come to your presence let this passage be fulfilled in my life today hmm. let this scripture the Bible says this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears today let this scripture be fulfilled. Let this scripture, I have come to your presence, O God. I have approached, I have come to receive, to receive from the Lord. Let this scripture be fulfilled in my life. Let this scripture be fulfilled in my destiny. Let this scripture wipe away my tears. Let this scripture wipe away my struggle. Let this scripture wipe away my toil. Let this scripture wipe away my failure. Let this scripture accelerate my advancement. Let this scripture accelerate my moving forward. Let let it happen, O oh God. Let it happen, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, He says, I will give unto you the treasures of darkness. I will give unto you the treasures of darkness. Let it happen, O oh God. Let it happen, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, let it happen, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, let it happen. In the name name of Jesus, cause it to happen, cause it to happen, the treasures of darkness, the treasures of darkness, the treasures of darkness, cause it to happen, oh God, let this scripture be fulfilled in my life, let this scripture be fulfilled in my family, let this scripture be fulfilled, oh God, let this scripture be fulfilled, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we pray. Hmm. We're going to pray this prayer. What the Lord said to me, the expectation of the people is so low. 
What can be done for you, my brother? How far? How long can I stretch your mind? How much can I make you to assimilate of the vast possibility of this passage we are looking at? The Lord said the expectation of the people is very low and therefore they are going to limit me in my operation i will read it unto you again i will give unto you the treasures of darkness the chest mystery chest locked up for centuries according to prophecy the lineage are beneficiaries and these financial resources should actually manifest but it's been locked up it's been locked up for so long it says i will go before you and i will give unto you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places for those who have studied it this literally happened when cyrus took over babylon the money that was recovered when it was converted into today's currency in pounds came to about a hundred and twenty six million pounds thereabouts I will give unto you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places there are riches that have been stored up waiting for people to stumble on them there are riches that have been kept waiting for people to claim this does not mean you steal we are in no way talking about theft remember god does not break his principles he can break protocols but not principles he is the holy god if the money was going to be theft unholy then god will not be involved let's make that caveat now so it's not that you saw money in your place of work that you are supposed to return to the company or return to the owner and you say yes this is the fulfillment of this scripture the treasures of darkness are converted unto me now the blessings of god makes rich and adds no sorrow to it i decree in the name of jesus let the treasures of darkness hmm, and the eating riches of secret places let them be converted unto you right now in the name of jesus in the book of job chapter 22 let's put some perspective to this and see what the lord is saying the yoke of poverty is broken from your life in the name of jesus the yoke of lack 
the yoke of not having enough resources. You've got the mind of the kingdom. You've got the vision of the kingdom. But there is no provision. There are no resources to carry out that divine project. There are no resources to carry out that divine project. What is going on? The treasures of darkness are lacking. Job chapter 22 verse 24. It says, let me read verse 23. If thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. And thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacles. Verse 24. Then shalt thou lay up gold as dust. Can someone say amen to that? Then shalt thou lay up gold as dust. And the gold of offer. As the stones of the brooks. <laughs> when you get this kind of finance from heaven, this one is a heavenly finance. Heavenly finance. You don't then have to be traveling in bulletproof cars because you are afraid that someone will kill you. You don't then have to hire a hundred bodyguards because you are afraid. The Bible says, Thy gate shall be open continually. Look at verse 25. It says, And ye, the Almighty, shall be thy defense. When it is God that gives you this money, when it is God that gives you this finance, he himself will be your defense. He says, And thou shalt have plenty of silver. And thou shalt have plenty of silver. We are provoking this financial mystery tonight. I hope someone is ready to pray. Look at Job chapter 28. As soon as we begin to pray, chains and yokes of lack, penury, poverty, they will be falling and, and getting broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Job chapter 28 verse 6. Let's look at verse 5. As for the earth, out of it, Jesus, cometh bread, and under it is turned up as it were fire. The stones of it are the place of sapphires, and it has the dust of gold the earth will yield forth his gold unto you the treasures of darkness gold inclusive silver precious minerals stones sapphire emerald onyx jasper out of the earth is the dust of gold we're going to pray to assess these resources that God himself will give unto us the treasures of darkness Deuteronomy chapter 8 hmm. Verse 18, but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For it is he that giveth 
That is the word again. I will give unto you. This is heaven's gift. You are a steward of the gift. You are a steward. Forget about how you hustle. Some people think if I hustle. No. No. This dimension we are talking about. The treasures of darkness. The hidden riches of secret places. Is by instruction. Is by the gift of God. The Bible says labor not to be rich. There is a dimension of wealth. By the gift of God. For it is he that give it you the power to get wealth i will give unto you the treasures of darkness he will give unto you the power to get wealth that yoke that chain can be broken by the gift of god but you need to get this straight it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And we are stewards of this gift. Therefore, use this gift to honor the giver. Use this gift of God to honor the giver. Use this gift of God as a means of advancing the kingdom. Use this gift of God as a means of fulfilling the purposes of God upon the earth. For it is He that giveth thee the power to get wealth, that He may establish His covenant, which is swear unto thy fathers, as it is this day. Before we continue, looking at this word can you cry unto God God I desire this gift hmm. the gift of the treasures of darkness if you don't desire it maybe you may not pray but if you are desirous, it is the gift of God. Listen to me. It is the gift of God. It is the gift of God. When this gift comes to you, you will know. When this gift comes to you, all your sorrow will fly away. All your toil. He said, we have toiled all night and we caught nothing. But when this gift comes to you, at thy word, I will let down the net. The Bible says, when they had let down their net, they enclosed a great multitude. Lord, I need the gift of God. I promise to be a good steward. A good steward. Are you are you are you entering a covenant with God that you will be a steward of the riches that He wants to deliver unto you? That you will be a steward, a good steward, an accountable steward. When He calls you anytime, come and give account of the money I gave to you. When He calls you anytime, come and give account of the of, of, of the opportunity that I gave to you when it calls you anytime the other time that I blessed you can you give account of what you did with that blessing can you tell God I will be a good steward of the riches of the kingdom I will be a good steward of the treasures of darkness trust me oh God trust me oh God by your mercy See, Kapala Koshadia. 
Oh, this is very, very important. The reason many people cannot cannot assess this is because God cannot trust them. It's because God cannot trust them. God cannot trust them with the millions. God cannot trust them with the billions. They just undo the little and they're already trampling upon their fellow their fellow men. They are already proud because of the little that God has given to them. And like like the birds of the air, the riches grow wings and fly away towards heaven because the person to which is been committed to is not a good steward. You want to assess the riches of the kingdom. You have to be a good steward. It is God that gives. It is God that gives the power to get wealth. It is God that gives. My brother, this your earthly mentality will run you to the grave faster than you think. You think you can also your way out. Well, you may be able to do a little, but this dimension we are talking about is the gift of God, is the gift of God. Lord God Almighty, I come before your throne today. I, I will Oh my God, can you cry to God? Help me to be a good steward. If you have been an unfaithful steward, the Bible says if you have not undoed that which is another, if you have not undoed it properly, who shall commit unto your hand the true riches, the true riches of the kingdom, the riches of darkness of secret places the treasures of darkness are you a good steward of God's resources are you a good steward of the beauty that God has given to you are you a good steward of the intelligence that God has given to you are you a good what are you using your money for is it just to feed the flesh is it just to become proud what are you using the resources of the kingdom for god has given it unto you what are you using it for can you cry unto god i will be a worthy steward i will be a faithful steward by the mercy of god by the mercy of god by the mercy of god i will be a faithful steward in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray a faithful steward of the resources of the kingdom hmm. can you cry to God I don't know my heart but you know my heart oh God every tendency of pride hmm. every proclivity to pride Uproot it for my soul. Ah, that songwriter says, prone to wonder. Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Tease my heart. Take and seal it. Seal it for thy courts above. Seal it for thy call to burn. My goodness. I feel this my heart. I have not yet handled billions. I have not yet handled millions. And my soul is already lifted up to vanity. I feel this 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 mammon having dominion over my spirit. Can you 
tell the Lord today, uproot oh, pride, uproot oh, the worship of mammon, uproot oh, the desire for vain glory, uproot oh, the desire for self and selfishness, uproot oh, the desire. I will not worship mammon. The Bible says you cannot serve two masters. It's either you will love the one and hate the order or you cleave unto one and despise the other you cannot serve God and mammon we are not talking about worshiping mammon here every mammon spirit every mammon dragon that has taken hold of people and they worship money they run after money they give their bodies for money they give their souls for money they give up their children for money they sacrifice their partners for money they sacrifice integrity on the altar of money they sacrifice heaven they despise heaven for money 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 the root of all evil can you tell God to uproot uproot it uproot it the love of money the root of all evil the worship of money the root of all evil the worship of money the root of all evil ha in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray hmm. listen to me we are going through the hard parts because i tell you in a moment if a bag of gold is dropped in front of your house tonight you will wake up tomorrow a millionaire the problem is not the transition the problem is the vessel the vessel is you and i it cost god nothing to drop this bag of gold Someone you never even know will wire to you an amount and you will look at it and say, can this be real? I tell you the truth. It is real. It is real. It is real. It can happen. It has happened. It can still happen. But the vessel is not polished enough to be steward of these riches. That is why we are going through this. Can you tell the Lord, I will not bow to mammon. So when they offer you, they say, we've got this juicy offer. We do not say you should forsake God, but just make sure you don't mention his name. We are going to give you this lofty position. We are going to give you fame and great glory. We are going to make you the leader of thousands and millions. <laughs> but make sure that the name of Jesus either consciously or unconsciously does not come out of your mouth if you sign that deal you have worshipped mammon because then they have a hold on you don't think you will be smarter than the devil that you will sign the deal and when you get there you will turn around and break the covenant you signed no it doesn't work that way those who gave you the platform can de-platform you in a moment. Therefore, don't rise on their platform. Wait for God. It will lift you up in due time. I pray to God over your spirit tonight. 
every unfaithfulness let her receive the torch of heaven may you be found faithful to be steward of God's resources in the name of Jesus thou shall remember Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 the Lord thy God when the morning comes remember the Lord thy God when the millions come when you become rich when you become famous when you become powerful money is intoxicating it makes you forget the giver thou shall remember the Lord thy God for it is he that give thee the power to get wealth can you tell God tonight give unto me the power to get wealth give unto me right now oh God the power to get wealth give unto me oh God the power to get wealth give unto me oh God the power to get wealth give unto me oh God the power to get wealth give unto me oh God the power to get wealth in the name of Jesus Christ give unto me oh God the power to get wealth release unto me oh God the treasures of darkness release unto me oh God the treasures of darkness the treasures that have been locked up the treasures of the city the treasures of that territory the treasures locked up of the nation where you dwell a lot of finance you are living in a in a land of abundance but you are you are, you, you, you you're suffering and you are you are, you're begging to hit you living from hand to mouth can you tell god give unto me the treasures of darkness give unto me the treasures of this city give unto me the treasures of this city give unto me the treasures of this city let it be converted unto me let it be converted unto me let it be converted unto me I pray the Lord gives you understanding in the same city where you are struggling another person who migrated just even after you is living large is enjoying the city is favorable unto the person why is the city contrary to you why are you suffering in the city the Bible says a rich man's wealth is his strong is his strong strong tower is a strong city is his refuge the Bible says blessed be the Lord for he has shown me his marvelous kindness in the strong city who will bring me into the strong city who will bring me into Moab this is a strong city you want to have the riches of the Gentiles you want to have the treasures of darkness the eating riches of the secret places you need the Lord to deliver it unto you oh God I come before you deliver unto me the treasures of darkness the riches that have been stored up in this city the possibilities of this land where I dwell let it be delivered unto me right now let the city be opened unto me let the wealth of the city be converted unto me let the riches of the city be converted unto me oh metropolis oh metropolis i receive the wealth sold up in thee in the name of jesus i receive the wealth stored up in thee 
him. He is converted unto me right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Oh, metropolis. Oh, metropolis. Yet the word of the Lord. I receive the riches. Stored up in thee. I receive the wealth. Stored up in thee. I receive the treasures of darkness. I receive the treasures of darkness. I don't care where they are hidden. I don't care how far they are hidden. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Let someone pray. This is a spiritual oppression. There is a spiritual transaction that is going on. The Bible says when the Ark of the Covenant came to the house of Obedidon, the Bible says he became rich, exceeding rich. What transaction transpired? What happened in the house of Obedidon with the Ark of God's covenant, with the Ark of God's testimony? What happened? Did he get a new job? Did he get a new offer? What happened? There was a spiritual transaction. The wealth of the Gentiles was converted. Let it happen, O oh God. Let it happen, O oh God. Let someone cry to God. Receive the Gentiles' wealth, the abundance of the sea, the forces of the Gentiles. Let it be converted unto you right now. Let it be converted unto you. Enough of suffering and smiling. Enough of living from hand to mouth. Enough for struggling to do the work of God. Let the resources comfort. He call for the resources. The treasures of darkness. We call you forth in the name of Jesus. Even Jesus Christ. He told Peter. He said go to the sea. Oh my God. The fish that you will first catch. He said there is. There is. There is treasure in the mouth of the fish if God can keep his treasure in the mouth of the fish surely he can convert it unto you he can convert it unto you you need this miracle in your life before embarrassment kick in someone is about to be embarrassed someone is about to be embarrassed the creditor is coming to take away your children Hi, my goodness the creditor is coming to take away your children. If God does not step in and give you the power to get wealth, your salary is not enough to pay that debt. Your, your, your projections, financial projections and calculations has landed you in trouble. You are about to be in shame. I decree, let the hand of God pull you out of that shame in the name of Jesus Christ let the treasures of darkness be converted unto you right now let the treasures of darkness be converted unto you right now in the name of Jesus Christ let someone cry unto God people are looking at you they are saying you are enjoying but you know that you are are not enjoying you know the, the, the mess you have to put up with just for you to be okay where is this scripture this day this scripture must be fulfilled in your life opportunities that will give you peace and rest opportunities that will make you to enjoy the 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 the, 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 the blessings of God the, the, the life that God has given you opportunities that will give you time to serve God to worship God you have to do multiple jobs you cannot even find time for God where is this 
future in your life. He says, I will give unto you the treasures of darkness. My brother, this is a gift that is coming to you right now. The Lord will appear unto you by his power. The Lord will appear unto you as he appeared unto Solomon. The Lord will appear unto you. I command the spiritual transaction to take place right now. Unto you is given the takaporushatia, the treasures of darkness. Unto you is given the treasures of darkness. Unto you is given the treasures of darkness and the eating riches of secret places. Unto you is given in the name of Jesus the treasures of darkness. Every poverty is gone. Every chains of lack and limitation, expectation without fulfillment. Every chain is broken. The shackles on your neck, the shackles on your on, on your loins, the shackles on your feet. You sign that bond. That contract has landed you in trouble. Ah, my goodness. Oh, they say if you break the contract, you are in trouble. And you have to subject yourself to a harsh situation because you cannot break the contract. No, not that it's not possible to break the contract, but there is an amount you are going to pay. And you look at it, you say, I don't have this money to pay. Therefore, I remain a servant of Pharaoh. I break that that joke upon your life <laughs> oh oh my god i send to your life right now the the financial emissaries of heaven let your destiny be bailed out of that mess in the name of jesus i bail you out by prophecy I bail you out by prophecy. I send unto you. Elisha told that woman, he said, Go and borrow vessels, not not a few. Shut the door upon yourself and your son. He said, Pour the oil. This was a prophetic bailout. I decree upon your life. Be bailed out of that mess. That ugly situation you found yourself. I send to you the hand of power. I send to you the hand of resources. I send to you the hand of of the treasures of darkness be delivered from shame be delivered from reproach be delivered from mess in the name of jesus christ mm. in jesus name we pray mm. in the book of Haggai, chapter 2 Verse 8, it says, the silver is mine, my goodness, the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold also is mine. See the Lord of hosts. I read this passage because I want you to know that resources you're looking for is God's. The silver is mine. I don't care who is the richest man on the earth. Whatever they have is God's. Even if they bow to Satan, Satan was created by God. He fell. That's why he's called Satan. He was initially the anointed cherub that covered it. 
I'm going to do something I've no I don't usually do. But this is something very very serious we have to pray on tonight. At the start of the week. This week, today is Saturday now. There about at the start of the week, I had a vision. And I saw a brother friend. I rang him on the phone and he was narrating to me something that happened to him. But then in the vision, I saw as the event happened. I'll tell you what happened. He had withdrawn money from the bank and put in his wallet. Lo and behold, the wallet, I know the amount, the wallet fell into the ocean. And he was lamenting as he was telling me. He says, I just withdrew the money. And then it fell into the ocean. And just before that vision left, I made a statement. I said in the vision, the devil is very bad. And the vision was taken away. I pondered on this vision for some days and then I decided to reach out to the person. I called and called and called. Alas, the person did not answer my call. He said he is busy at the moment. Well, here we are tonight. We can pray. War is responsible for the riches that God has given to you to fall out of your hand. This is a very critical issue. Some people, it's not like they have not handled resources. It's not that they have not handled resources, no. The Bible says they, ha they have pockets with holes. Like the axe head, it goes into the water. Today we are going to decree every axe head that has gone into the water, every wallet that has gone into the water by the mystery of the operations of God, they are going to swim again in the name of Jesus Christ. Is someone crying out to God, what is the resources of my life that has gone into the water? The marine forces have swallowed it up. The, the, the money that you were supposed to use to execute greatness you're supposed to use it to move your life forward these demonic sicknesses these demonic frosters come and take everything away everything you have labored for just as you are withdrawing the money the wallet goes into the ocean the bible said the sea gave up the dead which were in them you see you cannot hold my finances you see you cannot hold my finances I command you to give up I command the sea to give up I 
command the waters to give up. Let the wallet that's gone into the ocean, let it swim up again. Ah, in the name of Jesus, the financial resources that have been swallowed up in the ocean, the financial resources that have been swallowed up in the ocean, I command you to swim up. I command you to come back. The Bible said the iron did swim. You had said of my life, you cannot remain in the ocean. You had said of my destiny, you cannot remain in the ocean. You had said of my family, you cannot remain in the ocean. The waters cannot swallow the hack said perpetually. I command it to swim up. By the anointing, I command the axe head to swim. I command the axe head to swim. Every axe head has gone into the waters. Every axe head has gone into the waters. I command it to swim again in the name of Jesus. I command it to swim again in the name of Jesus. I command it to swim again in the name of Jesus. I command you to swim again in the name of Jesus. That wallet is coming out of the ocean. That wallet is coming out of the lagoon. That wallet is coming out of the waters. You need it to execute projects. You need that financial resources to execute projects. It is coming back unto you. Everything the waters have swallowed up, I command them to vomit it right now. In the name of Jesus, every riches the, the, the serpent has swallowed up. I command the serpent to vomit it right now. In the name of Jesus, the Bible said the sea gave up the dead which were in them. Death and hair gave up the dead which were in them. It is possible for the sea to give up. It is possible for the grave to give up. Up. It is possible for hell to give up. The Bible says he has swallowed riches. He shall vomit them. God shall cast it out of his belly. I command the riches of your life, the riches of your territory, the riches of your territory, the riches of your destiny, they have been swallowed up. I command it to vomit. vomit meet it right now in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray ah my goodness just as we're praying I see right before me a hand raised up he's the hand of a skeleton and it tells me it is an ancient power raising objection to this prayer. The Bible says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they are mighty true God to the pulling down of strongholds. Every ancient power, ancestral force in your life, objecting to the release of the riches of darkness, to the treasures of darkness unto you. And they say, no, no, objection. Every objection, ancient spirit that says, No, we have ruled over these finances, we are the custodians of these finances. It must not be released for the fortress of the kingdom. I command those hands to, to be cut off. I silence every objection. I silence every objection. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible says, keep silent before me, O 
all your islands and let the people of God renew their strength. The accuser of the brethren that is accusing you, accusing your lineage, accusing your territory and they say nobody in this territory can make it. Every accusation, every accusation, the Bible says there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Every objection, every accusation, every condemnation against your life, I command them to be overturned. In the name of Jesus, I command that objection in the spirit. You spirit in the realms that says no, we will not allow these riches to be released. I command you to go into change. The Bible says that angels that kept not their first estate, to them he has reserved the blackness of darkness of chains forever. We command every spirit, every ancient territorial spirit that says no, the riches of the Gentiles will not be converted unto you. I command them to go into captivity in the name of Jesus for he descended to the lowest part of the earth. He led captivity captive and he gave gifts unto men. He gives unto you the power to get wealth. In the name of Jesus Christ. By God's grace, we will continue on this prayer next week. I decree upon your life, enter into your abundance in the name of Jesus Christ. And for the axe head that has gone into the waters, the wallet that has gone into the waters, hear the word of the Lord swim again. In the name of Jesus, right now, yes, right now, hmm, tongues are being cut off in the spirits. I see tongues cut off. The Bible says the Lord will cut off flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Yes, the Lord will cut them off right now. The scourging tongues of the Eden. Let them be cut off. The tongues that are bringing against you railing accusation. Let them be cut off in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take up the axe head and go and prosper. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Who have come the meeting will be uploaded i will notify you as soon as it's uploaded this is a very powerful meeting that i want you to go back and pray next week by the grace of god we will continue with this prayer i will give unto you the treasures of darkness and the eden riches of secret places it says that thou mayest know that i the lord i am the god yes lord have a good night rest i love you all i'll see you next week by the message of god amen <laughs>